propagation of electromagnetic waves propagation means spreading in all the directions we don't use the word motion because normally motion is related to one direction one particular direction but electromagnetic wave from the source if it is a point source it they go in all the directions therefore we use the word propagation propagate spread out okay so how they spread out if there is a charge which accelerate here oscillate here then it will create a magnetic field this magnetic field creates this magnetic field what is its nature you see if there is a negative charge there is a positive charge here is the electric field plus to minus if they are oscillating the second stage is here and this is minus this is plus this is the electric field then this is minus and this is plus then this is the electric field then after oscillation they have gone to the extreme now they come back and again they are here then this is the electric field and they come close and here magnetic electric field is zero but this electron which is going in this direction in this direction keep on going in this direction and now here is minus and here is plus because this plus this plus plus here 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 and here and after that it goes on the other side because they are oscillating in this manner this way so at one place it is happening i am showing it on the different places but it is happening at one place so when these are here this is the electric field when these are here this is the electric field when these are here this is the electric field so if it oscillates this way the electric field is this and after that this minus goes in this direction and now electric field is in this direction now next this minus goes down here and plus goes here because the plus is going up this is the electric field so this is e e e and when they have reached extreme after that again they come back like this and here is electric field again they come back here is electric field see the electric field in this direction during one oscillation this is the one this is the other this is the next 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 and then they change direction this way this way this way so if i make only these vectors this will be like this because the time is passing by i have taken this as time axis now you find this is oscillating electric field now in the next oscillation again the electric fields are created now these electric fields are varying electric fields what is done by a varying electric field we have learned a varying electric field is capable of creating a magnetic field because it is a varying electric field it will create a magnetic field which is a varying magnetic field so this creates a varying magnetic field in where is the varying magnetic field created you have seen ampere's law if the current is going like this then the magnetic field is created around it what is the direction this is magnetic field what is the angle at right angle so magnetic field is always created in a direction which is at right angle to the electric field electron or the charges charges always move in the direction of electric field that is why current is flowing in the ampere's current magnetic field is this which is at right angle so electric field direction of charges magnetic field at right angle to it so we get right angle to it magnetic field and that we can make like this at right angle to this so we get a magnetic field this way and here it is this this electric field is 
Now, this magnetic field is a varying magnetic field and we know a varying magnetic field. In electromagnetic induction, we have learned if there is a varying magnetic field, it will create electric field. And because of that electric field, current flows in a conductor. Because of that electric field, E into dr potential difference is created. That is what you have learnt in Faraday's law that E is equal to d phi E by dt and phi E is what? E into A. So, a changing electric field creates a potential, sorry, B A. A changing, this is minus d phi magnetic flux per unit time ok so this is emf emf is what electric field multiplied by dr so change in magnetic field creates an electric field and what is the direction do you remember yes change in magnetic field by this law we know that if there is a change in magnetic field here there is electric field here that means they are at right angle to each other. So, this changing magnetic field creates an electric field where this location is engaged. So, it creates an electric field in the next space. In the next space. Where is the next space? Answer, this is the next space. Here, it creates electric field. So now who has created this electric field? Answer this magnetic field has created this varying electric field. Now if this varying electric field has been created then the characteristic of an electric field is that it creates a varying magnetic field. So this by the time it is created simultaneously it creates a magnetic field at right angle to it. This. So in this way, this electric field created this magnetic field, this magnetic field created this electric field, this electric field created this magnetic field and this varying magnetic field created electric field in the next space. So this way, this disturbance goes here, this disturbance goes there, that disturbance goes there and the disturbance keeps on moving. Now, they are not asking the electrical charge who created it. This electrical charge has shut down its oscillation. It has gone home. But this is making this, this is making this, this is making that and they keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. So, we say that electromagnetic waves are self-propagating. They, once they are created, they don't need their source. Once they are created, they don't need their source and they are creating each other. It will create this, this will create this, this will create this, this will create next electric field and they will keep on going, going, going forever. From thousands of years in the space, these electromagnetic waves are coming to us. The source is no more there. Source are finished millions of years back. Still we are receiving electric wave, electric fields and magnetic fields. This is their propagation. This is how they are made and they keep on going. So, this is self-propagation. And this process is very fast process. Therefore, these disturbances move very fast. How fast? Whatever is the fast that we will call their speed. So, speed of electromagnetic wave is calculated and is found to be 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Please note it. If Maxwell calculated that speed of the electromagnetic waves with help of epsilon naught and permeability, he could calculate that this should be 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And then people said, look, 3 into 10 to the power 8 is a very well-known figure. This is figure of velocity of light. And nothing else can move with this speed. Nothing else. Then there was a combination of these two thoughts. And Maxwell said, okay, 
light is an electromagnetic wave light is an electromagnetic wave so now this sequence you have to understand well by method of calculation mathematics applying to the characteristic of the space which characteristics permeability and permittivity maxwell calculated that these changes of electric field and magnetic field will create formation of the wave and this wave should increase in its length this wave should move the disturbance should move with this speed then they got the speed of the light in the lab that speed was also this speed again there was a thought that nothing else can move at a larger speed than this so all this made to one conclusion that light is a electromagnetic wave and this gives answer to our one question which characteristic of the light proved that it is a electromagnetic wave answer it is speed of the light which proved that it is an electromagnetic wave so light is an electromagnetic wave and it has got the same velocity now for this velocity does it need any medium answer no it does not need any medium our proof is that from the sun to the earth the light is coming that is electromagnetic wave it does not need any medium okay even if there is medium can it move that was another question if there is a medium if we send the light through a medium what is the medium air water glass wood steel any medium can it move and that was experimented it was found that for a given energy of the electromagnetic wave it can move in the medium but when it moves in the medium then there is a different method of its motion and that method is if here is a medium this medium has got particles electrons light energy comes from here the electric field moves this when it is moved it strikes this strikes the neighbor one that moves with the same frequency this is frequency of electric field it hits the electron it start vibrating it strikes it with the same frequency it strikes this it strikes this it strikes this it moves and strikes this after that it is vibrating and when this vibrates this is a charged particle it vibrates a charged particle vibrates oscillate that is a acceleration and it gives out electromagnetic waves so electromagnetic waves are here see it has crossed it has passed through the medium but inside this is the fact that it happened like this it has to pass through material to material 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 has to be vibrated and when this material is vibrated it is going to take a longer time than a vibration to go when electric field is moving and when a material is vibrating there is always a difference this is slow that is why if in the free space in the free space a wave goes from this place to this place it has taken 1 second in this when it goes it takes 2 second why it has to go through vibrating the material so what happens to the speed of the wave we see a wave here this wave is here this wave is here this wave has come here this wave has come here this has come faster this has come slower so we say in a medium the speed of the electromagnetic wave decreases that is the reason because it has to vibrate so a wave does not move as it is in the medium on the very first strike it gives it energy to the electrons it is absorbed now that electron moves give energy to the next 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 to the last electron a last electron because of the same frequency it gives out the same electromagnetic wave and it comes out this is what we think and naturally this is going to take a longer time therefore this is the reason 
why speed of electromagnetic wave decrease in a medium and this ratio of the speed outside and ratio of the speed inside is called refractive index you have heard it okay so this is propagation of electromagnetic waves now if there was initially initially the source was vibrating oscillating with an oscillating uh, oscillation frequency of 1000 1000 vibration per second then this will also have a frequency of 1000 this will also have 1000 this will also have 1000 this will also have 1000 and when it enters the medium this will also have 1000 in one second the vibrations can be large the vibration can be small depending upon the medium but the number of vibration in one second will not change that is why we say frequency do not change remember frequency do not change this electric field may be smaller we call it amplitude that may change but frequency do not change that was fixed by the source when it started okay so these are few things of propagation how it is made and how it moves remember the direction if this is i this is j this is k if this is j this is k this is i so here we have electric field direction magnetic field direction this is velocity of the light velocity of the propagation this is the vector relation between them and this energy this velocity this speed of energy it is carrying certain energy that energy per unit volume pointing vector is e cross h it is a vector product so it will give a vector in a direction perpendicular to both if this is e this is h perpendicular to both so velocity is in the direction of pointing vector e into h what is a pointing vector pointing vector is a vector which gives us energy of electromagnetic wave per unit area in the direction in the direction e cross h that means perpendicular to both this vector is known as pointing vector okay so this is all about propagation and in the next lecture we will see further characteristics of electromagnetic wave in its description does it have a momentum does it have energy how much is the energy how it is related to electric field what is its momentum what it can do what it cannot do that we will study in the next lecture thank you